Hey YouTube, we're going to put new uh, wheels and tires on the 56 today. Uh, <clears throat> we got these, um, well the old ones are, are 15 inch and uh, the new ones are 17 inch. So it should give it a more modern cool look. I have a slightly larger tires in the back. And um, the problem with the old ones is they're too big there's only about a half inch clearance here and on the other side and when you put a load in the truck which i tend to use this truck uh, at least for small projects um, the uh, tire rubs the inner inner fender and there's you know i can't space it out anymore or hit the outer fender so uh the um, current setup has this eight millimeter spacer on the rear wheel and the rear wheel back offset is three and three quarter inches on the old one. Now these new wheels I found have uh, a four inch. So basically what that means is the distance between where this hits the um, mounting surface and the edge of the rim is four inches and the old one was three and three quarter inches. So to make it equal, I would need an additional quarter inch spacer. And I already have eight millimeters, which is about a half an inch. So uh, I got these 35 millimeter and there's 25 millimeters in an inch. So I got these 35 millimeter spacers and these are superior to the spacer that was in there before. Cause these just kind of floated in there and there was really nothing center in the tire other than the lug nuts um, going through these holes so these the lug nuts actually come in here and you put an acorn nut and and they hold in there and then they have um, these studs that come out to hold the uh, tire on and i've got the proper spacer here um, to fit right inside Let's see if i can pull that off Hang on, I'm going to put the phone down a second. Okay, so this spacer here, which fits right there, fits perfectly into the center here. So it'll be a nice, tight fit and uh, should work really well. All right, we got the old wheel off. The hub-centric spacer. 35 millimeters thick, it's bolted on here with these nuts in there. I put five of those on, torque them up. Then this uh, size and ring goes right here. And then the wheel goes on with the uh, fancy uh, cap nuts. Let's see how this works. All right, we're looking at the spacing and yeah, there's a good couple inches of spacing between the uh, tire and the inner fender well where it was rubbing before. You can see where the tire was actually rubbing on the inner fender well. We have plenty of space now and uh, plenty of space on the outer as well. And, uh, and it just, good luck with those 17 inch wheels. And the fronts look good. So I think that'll do it. Uh, we'll have to take it on a test drive, but uh, I'm gonna go do the other side now.